we're going to learn how to make our sprite glide. This is what our finished product will look like. Just a nice ghost gliding. First, I'm, gonna, I'm first going to cover our our stage area. I want you to think of the stage area as a grid with a, a horizontal values, which are, which will be represented by x, and a vertical values being represented by y. Now, whenever your sprite has an x value of zero and a y value of zero, it's going to be in the center. I increase my value of x, and I'll change it to 100. My my sprite will then move to the right, as it now has a value for its horizontal of 100, but my vertical value of y is still 0, so it has not moved up or down. If I increase my value of y, let's say I change it to 100 as well, then my sprite is now going to move. If I click and drag my sprite, let's say I, let's say I move it down to the bottom left here. There we go. It tells me that the value of x is negative 100 because it's on the left, and now my y value is negative 100 as well. That moves it down. Now let's get started on making a script to make a sprite glide. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my cat. So I'll just click onto the x over here. It's going to get rid of my cat. And now I'm going to find a new sprite to use for this one. So I'll go to choose sprite, click onto it, and let's have a look at what I want. Scroll down, mm, there's uh, lots of options you can use. So, for this example, I'm going to be using the ghost. Now, this is my ghost, very nice. So, on the left here for my motion blocks, I'm going to look for a glide, a glide block. I'm going to click that, drag it in, and let's say glide um, one second, I'll change it to two seconds. Two seconds, let's say x can be 100 and then y can be negative 100. If I click onto the block, let's see what happens. Oh, my, my ghost is moving. I'm going to drag another glide block over here. So I'm going to change the glide two seconds. Let's try this to uh, negative 100 for my x value and then the positive 100. Then I'm going to go to my events block over here, drag out a green flag. Click and drag it and stack on the top of the stack. 